and welcome to Wilton Mill. It's Friday evening and it's the Vera Tools British Kart Championship Paddock Show for the seventh round of the 2021 season. Mm. Anthony, it's a, well, it's not quite a summer's evening, it's but it's, really. it's okay, it's okay. It's all right, and we're not even in the paddock. We're currently at the last corner on the track, so this paddock show is already befunked because yeah, yeah. we're not on the we're, we're not in the paddock. <laughs> out of the paddock, onto the track. I mean, you know the circuit really well. Yep. It's one of the nicer circuits in terms of its, uh, um, its well, how should we say, its facilities in the UK. Yeah. But for the drivers, it's really, really physical. A lot of the drivers say it's the most physical track that they visit all year. Some of the curbs are absolutely brutal. They are quite brutal, uh, I will say, but the trick is to avoid them. If you avoid them, you do well. Uh, if you don't, but uh, a uh, lot of drivers don't avoid them, do well, they? No, I mean, <laughs> some of the curbs you do have to take. To, you know, you do have to take them time to time to get yeah. that extra speed. That's the problem, isn't it? Well, yeah, but I, uh, personally, after looking at them, especially the Pitts Bend one, because yep. that, that's a curb that you would find out on a street. Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> don't touch that one. Not at all. Not at all. But. We've got a very, very busy weekend. So we've got all the Rotax classes, yep. uh, Mini, Junior, Senior, 177. Mm. We've got Junior and uh, TKM, TKM Extreme, but we've also got Micromax. We do. Now that is the official UK qualifying event for the 2021 Rotax Max Challenge Grand Finals. Two tickets are up for grabs this weekend for two Micromax drivers. They'll be going to Bahrain to represent Team UK. That is a, an amazing event. Yes. And it's extremely fortunate that those drivers are able to uh, uh, to participate. The first time it was run was in 2019. Macaulay Bishop won. He went on to come second in the world at Italy in Sarno. Oh, well, Not bad go. at all. Uh, if only I could fit in a uh, Micromax. If only I could fit over this fence, which we're going to have to go we're over now. Have to so walk let's over. have another wander through the paddock <laughs> yeah. to see what happens. So we've had practice all day today. Um, yeah, it's been a very busy day, hasn't it? And I think we've got uh, 44 races to cover. Yeah. Um, you know, two it, it, days of Sky <laughs> Streaming. We're, ladies and gentlemen, we're actually now trying to stall because yeah, we're deciding stop who, who, is, Get over the fence. who is going to <laughs> go over the fence first, dearie me. Well, it's going to be you. Please, style and grace. Please stack it, Henry. Please stack it. No, don't. Look oh, at there that. we go. Oh, like a like a gym. Gra well, graceful, graceful. Something Thank like you. That. Yeah, look, there you go. There straight, go. straight over. No, no worries for me. No worries for me. Now, Wilton, Still young. Wilton Mill. <laughs> last time we were here, it was December. It was yep. a week before Christmas. It was freezing. It was you know raining, but the racing was absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Now it's August Bank Holiday weekend, um, so we should be in for some decent weather. I mean. It's sure. still freezing, it's still, it's still cold, freezing, it's still raining. It's, it's dry, it's, it's dry. It did rain earlier today. Oh, did it? It did. Oh, you, you missed it. I missed it, I missed it. I wonder why that was. <laughs> um, but I mean, looking around the paddock, I mean, this is one of the nice, I think 24, 25 years this place has been in existence. Yeah. I actually won a race up here in 2000 and they got gave me a t-shirt, you know, for winning a race. I think things have moved on slightly since then. They've yeah, had an extension, uh, yeah. you know, lots of new facilities. But again, great, great viewing for the spectators. Yeah, I remember when the clubhouse was uh, a shed on top of a container. I now have commentated from that shed on <laughs> yeah. top of a container before, yes. And now it's a beautiful clubhouse, fantastic facilities. And like I say, it's definitely a circuit to come down to because it's in the middle of the UK. Why not? It it's is a very, very central, place, yeah. central, central location. It so is. we're just passing the ultimate R uh, tent. Now, mm. That's Ben Hingley's team. Now, his brother, Matty Hingley, he's up to third in the senior Rotax standings in cart mm -hmm. number 11. His first season in seniors. He's, he hasn't featured in the battle for the lead too much, but he's been very, very consistent. And, you know, when you're talking senior Rotax, the amount of entries that we've got, that's, uh, that's critical. How's he done today? Matty Hingley. Last session. Track the six now, of course, is 40 plus senior drivers. I know, yeah, so I think he's not going to. may gonna... not have been in that he, session. He, he could be in many. Oh, there he goes. Oh, there he is, second. So he was second in his uh, sixth practice session, 43 7 2. Yeah. Tenth off so we, we, uh, from Reese Hunter. Yeah, Reese Hunter. So Reese Hunter, championship leader. Yep. Uh, last year's vice champion. Mm -hmm. But again, you know, we had the first round of clay pitching for the Rotax. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the final there didn't happen. So yep. the pre final results were the final results and then at Mansell Raceway Lewis Gilbert you know swept all before him but Reese has been really consistent mm. he's actually ahead of his brother Kai in the, in the championship standings um, he, want to get, he wants to get that win you know it's all well and good being in the lead of a championship but if you haven't won then yeah. you know that, that takes something away from it I think anyway well again it all could happen here at Wilton Mill because like we say, saw last year, anything can happen here at Wilton Mill. Absolutely. Take, yes. for instance, the rain that fell. Catherine White. Oh, yes. One driver on wets, the rest on slicks, was yep. it? Yep. She emerged victorious. Yeah. Now, this is the BKC uh, awning, not British Kart Championship, but the Bambino Kart Club awning. 
Darren Beavers, who runs that championship, he's here this weekend helping several of our Micromax drivers. Um, now it's worth having a chat to uh, Darren because you know, let's. The Micromax drivers have got a huge, huge opportunity uh, this weekend. Um, Darren, you know, you're helping out several of them. Yeah. You've been to the Rotax Grand Finals. You helped Macaulay Bishop, you know, in 2019, and he came second in the world. What's it like? Try and describe it for the viewers, what the Rotax Grand Finals is like and what it means to the young, the youngest drivers that, that Great Britain takes to represent their country. So, only one word to explain, the Rotax World Finals, really, and that's brilliant. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. I mean, when I saw you over there in 2019, that was my first time experiencing it when I went out with Macaulay. Uh, and yeah, absolutely brilliant. I mean, I've been to many, many kart races over the years, uh, British champs, European champs, all sorts of things, and 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 the World Rotax Grand Finals just 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 tops everything. Absolutely brilliant, uh, and that's really the reason why I'm here this weekend. Um, obviously, saw that Motorsport UK was running this World Qualifier for the Micromax class. I think it's a brilliant class. Um, and a few drivers who, who do my BKC Bambino Karting Championship, they wanted to do it. Uh, and I said, I'll come to help. Bought the truck, put the awning up, and, and offering some help and support, really. Uh, Brilliant. Yeah, help, just help and support. To, I've got four drivers, and, and, and none of them have ever raced the class before. So give it a try. It's all pulled engines, so all fair, all equal. And, and we'll see what happens out on track. <laughs> Great. So who, who, we got, who have we got this weekend in here? Who are we going to be looking out for, do you think? OK, so the four in here will be Oscar Carp male. Mm -hmm. He's a, a normally an Miami Cadet dr driver. We've got Charlie Lomas, again, from Miami Cadets. We've got Tyler Davis. He's from the Honda Cadet class. Mm -hmm. And then we'll have in the corner, we'll have Zane Quaker, who's actually the only driver who has tried Micromax. He's been doing it uh, a little bit this year already. Brilliant. Well, we'll be looking out for those, I'm sure. And uh, thank you very much for coming and helping out and to giving us some insight into what the, these drivers are fighting for this weekend. Brilliant. Have a good weekend. Cheers, thank Darren. You. Cheers. Yeah, I'm fortunate enough to, to, to work the Rotax Grand Finals. It's yep. nothing you've ever seen. It, you know, it's like the Olympic Games of, of, of karting. You know, and I think that it's an absolutely fantastic opportunity for these youngsters. Have they been practicing today? Uh, they have not. No, they're practicing. No. They're all tomorrow. Oh, okay. they're practicing. So that some but, of them aren't even here yet. But like Darren said, they've come from lots of different classes. They are mm. Cadet, Cadet Honda, the other classes outside the British Championship. It's a real, it's a real mix of talent. Uh, Who have we got? Well, we've got Kenzo Craigie, of course, who races in the uh, the Hondas uh, Cadets. He was last at Mansell as well, so he's back here again, but this time in Micro Max. So good to see him here um, as well. There's uh, there's quite a few as well. Oh, Albert Shaw? Friend as well as here. Chalk. He was a Bambino last year in the yep. British Championship. Yeah. Rocco Shenton. Rocco Shenton. He had a fantastic uh, yep. Cadet Honda final at, uh, at Mansell, I seem to recall. Yep. So some real talent. Yes. Some real talent. Right. Should we have a little wander that way a little bit to a see bit. who we can come across? I, or? I, I think yeah. that's a good idea. Now you see, oh, look, the dreaded. The dreaded. Uh, the, war, oh, the trip you, to get water <laughs> for your camper get, van. It, I tell you, it's better than the other one. The, oh, the, the, oh, yes, yeah, the other yeah. uh, no, no one likes container, to, yes. <laughs> no one likes to make that the, journey. The chemical, the chemical one. <laughs> the chemical ah, disposal right, yes. one. Yeah. So yes. there's Coles Racing, and again, they've got you know a lot of drivers in there in all sort of Rotax classes. Um, mm. Haven't won as many races this year as I would have thought. Mackenzie Douglas came close in Minimax at Mansell. But I think, you know, considering you know that last year's Minimax champion, Archie Kitchen, drove for Coles, they're due a good result. They're due a good weekend, aren't they? I, I think so, yeah. I mean, again, Wilton itself being quite a mixture of circuit. It's fast, it's flowing, it's tight, it's twisty, it's bumpy, it's... Uh, you know, it's everything. Everything yeah. a driver hates, really, well, yeah, <laughs> is yeah. what Wilton is. But, but it, they love it as a circuit. But it's, it's always very, very good, good racing. You mm. know, it, occasionally you get a runaway winner, but more often than not, it's, it's a really close pack, which is not always the case at a circuit that's more technical yeah. than speed-based. Yes, yeah, no, it, it's always that. And my favourite part about it is, you know, the start of a race, they're side by side, through oblivion, yep. near on flat out, through fine lady and up the hill into Christmas, because that's always where you see the late, the late breakers. It, exactly. Now, there. 
a couple of weeks ago at Wilton, I think, well, actually earlier this week, a certain George Russell was testing here was, yeah. with Argenti Motorsports. Now, I mean, you know, Argenti obviously links with Mercedes and George part of the Mercedes programme. But, I mean, Argenti are just down here. I mm. wonder what it was sort of like to have George turn up and test, you know, amongst all the, you know, the regular runners. Like Louis Harvey was there. He just scuttled off into the, <laughs> the background, obviously not wanting to appear on camera. But that'll be a good uh, one to, to go in and have, a, have oh. a chat to some of the drivers, what it was like to suddenly have, you know, I mean, George obviously hasn't, he's not too many years away from, from racing here at Wilton. Well, yeah, no, exactly that. I, I, do you know what? I did race uh, Mr. George Russell as well in a Rotax really? around a certain circuit. Yeah, I did. And I was... Explain. I, tell, I, tell, the, I, tell the public. I, I, well, he came down for a, a little bit of a hack at, right, uh, right. at Daytona okay, uh, okay. circuit. There's only down the road in Milton Keynes. And I was working there at the time, and they said, oh, have you got someone who knows the circuit quite well to come out and, you know, go? And I said, oh, I know the circuit pretty well. So I went out. Absolutely, Anthony Davidson was there as okay, well. Okay, okay, yeah. Uh, so I beat, I was quick, quicker than Anthony Davidson I was. There you go. There we go, there that's go. Clayton <laughs> Fade. We'll dine out on that one for ages. <laughs> Anthony, um, Anthony Davidson, though, was very sleep deprived and, yeah, you know, was, in, was. A, a, in a Bambino and you were in a, a senior Rotax. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, that's fair it was a junior Rotax. It just doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Ah, oh, here we go. You've got, you got the, uh, you go. the next sure generation of Argenti Motorsport stars here. But I'm Here's a, here's, let's, let's, let's chat to Dan Ginchard. So, Dan, I think, was leading the championship at one point, then didn't yep. go out in the final at Mansell. Now we're in a really big championship battle in, in juniors. Yep. But what we want to talk about is what was it like having George Russell uh, tested here with you guys earlier this week? You know, I'll, tell you what, I'll let you go this side of oh, me. Oh, okay. Well, fair you, got the well, microphone. You, can, you can have a look and see how Dan's been going today. Yeah. And yeah. I'll see how Dan, what was it like yeah, testing with George Russell? Yeah, no, it was great. It was nice to meet someone who's high up and has actually made it to talk to him about how hard it is to get there. And, you know, he said it's, it's, it's so hard. You have to work so hard. So it, it was nice to have that conversation with him. But he was actually in a car, you know, wasn't he? Was, he? was he driving or was he just here mentoring? No, he was He was driving in senior Rotax. He was showing the seniors a thing or two. Okay, so, okay, here we go. I know you're in, obviously in junior, but of the seniors, how quick was he compared to some of the senior drivers, even if he was, like, you know, taking it easy? Yeah, I don't think he was, like, pushing fully, but he definitely wasn't far off considering he doesn't do any karting. It's one day a year he's allowed, so he did pretty well. Really, one day a year in a, in a car. Oh, fair enough. That's something interesting. The, the ins and outs of a Formula One contract. Now, let's go back to Mansell. Didn't end up the best for you. I think a DNS in the final. But, you know, we're in the thick of a championship hunt here, of a championship battle. There's seven or eight drivers that can still easily win it. Yeah, you know, I think this track's a really strong track for me, so we're just going to try and maximise the points during the weekend and see what happens after. OK, no problems at all. Well, thank you very much, Dan. And, uh, Glad that you were able to like share some little secrets with uh, with George. We'll keep an eye out uh, for you over the course of the weekend. Let's make sure that we got a hub on properly for the final. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> not quite sure. Not quite sure if uh, if uh, that mechanic that was working with Mr. Ginchard is still working with Mr. Ginchard <laughs> after the uh, final. At, uh, hey, you never know. You never but, know. I mean, that's impressive. I mean, looking looking in there, you know, this this is a kart team. This is a second year kart team. But you just look at the facilities they've got. You know, it's it's very impressive. Oh, oh he's, ki he's kicking you oh, out. Oh, oh dear. Oh, there you go. This, this, so <laughs> this is really like Ted Kravitz's notebook. <laughs> it is. They don't want you anywhere, do they? Dear me. Well, that's just like, oh, no, it's Henry. I'll, Close I'll the door. <laughs> Now, I, well, I tell you what, here's one door that's always open to us. Oh, it's, yeah. it's the Mad Croc team. It is indeed. Based here at Wilson. Yep. Yeah, right. In fact, they're, they're Caden's in there. They're, Caden, okay. Caden's in there. Well, that's yeah, all right. We'll, spe we'll speak to we'll speak to Mr. Salis. You know. You know, there's some speak. Micromax drivers well, in here as well. There's some Micromax drivers as well. Well, let's uh, have a little look in here. Um, <laughs> so we've got Rotaxes and now, now Mad Croc. They're not venturing into the Rotax scene for some of the first time, aren't they? Yes, is the answer. <laughs> um, we'll have a chat. With, I'll tell you what. We'll have a chat with Rocco. Rocco's in his in his seat at the moment. Normally a cadet Honda driver. Nice zip logos there. Rocco, how are you getting set up for Micromax this weekend? Well, we. I don't know what to say really. Well, I'd say that you're going to absolutely smash it. You know, tomorrow not the cart, but smash the, the racing and, and and win and get a ticket to Bahrain. Yeah, of course. That sounds really good. Oh, so you haven't had a chance. Have you had a chance to test it yet? No. no. So tomorrow is going to be thrown right in at the deep end, but you've, you've got pooled engines. Chassis is zip, yeah? Yeah, yeah. chassis is zip. Okay, so have you managed to take any advice off anyone? I mean, you've got the croc team around you. You know, Has anyone sort of given you any advice on how to, to handle the Micromax engine? Well, just my dad and John Muir and some croc 
Jim Croc. Okay, well, we'll let you get Karen. What are you actually, I mean, apart from just sitting in the seat on the cart, is it, what, what, what are we doing? Are we getting the pedal set up? Are we getting your seat no, set up? Just, uh, seeing how the uh, pedals and see how I feel in the cart. Okay, because it's obviously it's a different chassis than the one you're used to driving, yeah? Yeah. Excellent. Well, there we go. Well, that tells you a lot about what the drivers need to go through. It's not just jumping in a car and going for a blast. You've got to get the pedal set up, the seat set up. You can see the different, uh, you know, seat bolts for different positions. Obviously, the engine is much bigger than a Honda, you know, so it's a different uh, engine on this particular chassis. It's a new chassis uh, for Rocco, you know, the, the Zip Edge chassis. It's good to see the Zip name back in it. So, yeah, obviously, every driver's got to go through, you know, this before they get in, in a cart, a new engine. So that's uh, interesting technical work going on There's here. There's technical work going on here. Yeah. Oh, heat, oh, gun, heat gun in hand, trying to remove a sticker. Fingers have been burnt already. Oh dear. Uh, <laughs> the glamorous side of, of motor racing. Mm, yes. But, uh, I, steady. Mind, mind the fingers. Health and safety executive oh. won't enjoy watching right. that too often. But yeah, uh, no, exactly. Yeah. It's well, only sticker removal, that is. So, you so talk about Croc, they're obviously based, based here at the show. I just noticed the sticker on the back of the van. Well, Mr Zog, that's, that's, that's a surfing sticker. Is it a surfing sticker? Mr Zog, sex wax. It's a, sur <laughs> it's a real thing, you know. I say. They're not being naughty or anything. It, it's no, a, it's, a, it's there as obviously well. Obviously, you can tell that, you know, my surfing career ended a little while ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know. The last time I went surfing, the Japanese whaling fleet came out and tried to harpoon me. And moving swiftly on, let's go this way, shall what? we? Because go this way. Oh, I, I want to go this way. You want to go this way? Oh, oh well, do you want to go this way? Did you well, want to? Well, well, I was thinking of I mean, going into the nerve centre of the Croc team. Okay, you want to go let, speak no, to somebody no, else no, let's me. go into the nerve centre. I'll, I'll follow your lead, Henry. Well, okay. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> I don't usually say that. I don't get used to it. Well, so some some. Obviously, because the, the location of a Wilt Mill Central, a lot of teams are actually based here. The Croc Promotions team have got a. Yeah, we are allowed in here. This is a. <laughs> so based here, there's Caden McQueen trying to look busy. <laughs> Let's have a, a little chat with. Uh, what are you up to over there, Caden? Up to no good is uh, probably doing some sort of uh, nefarious goings on. So this is your home from home, isn't it? Yeah, um, this is where we're based. Um, we're here every day and. Which is a good thing, because we know Will and Mill. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Yeah. Now you're going to be you're having a go in, in road tax again this weekend, aren't you? Yeah. I thought um, after such a successful last year, nearly winning the race, we thought we will come back again this year and see what we can do. But so you you want to win? There's the middle of a championship battle going on, which you're not a part of in road tax. How is that going to affect your driving psyche? It's not. So it doesn't matter. Fair enough. Fair enough. So if you <laughs> final corner. Championship leader in front of you or not, you're still going to absolutely lunge. That's it. We're here to win. Fair enough. And, uh, let's check what's going on back there. There's something. Well, he's something dodgy, no doubt. No, I'm only joking. But again, so the cart teams are based here. So obviously you've got you know various tooling and stuff like that. You know, lots of chassis on the wall. Yes, Caden. If you want some 3D printed stuff for your car, it's right behind you. Is there a discount code for uh, you know? No. Henry. Thank you very much. There you go. I've been 3D printed into this blinking. <laughs> Motorsport UK polo shirt, but it gives you some idea, doesn't it, DJ, about the amount of work that goes in off track to get carts on track. You know, these the cart teams, you know, they, yeah, they're big business. It's, it is big business. It is. And I tell you who else who benefits in big business in karting, and that's definitely elbow grip. I see this in nearly every paddock, in every mechanics toolbox, is always one of those. Elbow grip, it does the hard work it, it, so that lazy drivers don't have to. <laughs> Well, thank, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Sailors. Thank you, Caden, for uh, showing us around. Uh, I, said, I said we weren't going to ambush you. Now, I totally lied to you. Now <laughs> we can carry on, Anthony. Carry yes, on. Yeah, yeah. We'll go. We'll head this way because the majority of the paddock is again. It's that way, but there's two ends of it. It's, again, it's quite a big paddock as uh, we. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, obviously, there's KKC the cart yeah, shop. So KKC. there's a 24, well, 24/7, seven days a week cart shop on site. I think Dan Holland racing Dan are Holland, actually based. They are like just the on the other side of, of that. It. Yeah, they are. They are based there. So there's Ethan Which begs the question: if they're based in that unit, why have they walked a hundred yards and put up a massive great stonking awning? Because that's what makes sense. Does it? Logic. 
Really? Stonks. I don't know. Uh, well, poss <laughs> possibly. Let's have a little wand wander up here. That, I tell you what, why don't we ask them? I mean, the flaps are down. The flaps are down. But I feel like we should go in there. Your base, well, I mean, your base here at Wilton, why have you put a stonking yeah. grate? Look at the size of it. It's massive. Well, they've, uh, they've, got, they've got many, many drivers and many wagons. You know, to uh, have a look. Well, you know, let's have a, let's have a wander let's inside, go. shall we? Uh, shall we? Shall we just? I mean, I noticed that... Uh, go, Mr. Cameraman. <laughs> look, uh, look at that. That is a, a sight to behold. Many, many wagons. What's going on here? There's some, There's some sort of uh, activity going around the number 39, uh, Ed Matthews' cart. So, talk about the curves, Anthony. Mm -hmm. The drivers have obviously all have um, rear protectors. Yeah. But sometimes that is not enough. You've got extra padding in the seat which is either being removed or being put back on because the curves here are just so, are so vicious. What, what are we doing exactly? What's the, the process here? Um, we're literally just repadding the seat. So obviously he has quite a lot of padding in because he doesn't like wearing a rib tech anyway. So Naughty boy. Therefore, it's a bit of a booster cushion and it was moving and it looked a bit, looked a bit dodgy really, so I thought we'd redo it. Okay, well fair enough. In, 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 the, in the right Dan Holland racing colours as well? How much is it? Is this something you do for every round or every circuit, or just Wilton because Wilton is so bumpy? No, for him it's every track, just so the seat fits properly. So his hips fit in this seat perfectly, but obviously the top of him is just a bit, bit too lanky. Narrow. Yeah. And without his rib tech, tut yeah. tut tut. <laughs> so so Ed, Ed Matthews is the only one who's got a little booster seat in his cart in yeah. the in the Rotax classes. Yeah. Pretty much. There we are, fair enough. There we go. There you go. I've just noticed everyone's eating cake in here. Really? Where? 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 Well, I, I've seen there, there was a man sitting there who giggled and then left while, oh, well, while I, eating cake. Uh, I think I know well, I know who that was. Yeah. He's up he's up to no good. Is he that up was, to no good, is he? No, well that was that was uh, Harry Lyndon's dad. Oh, was it? Yes. <laughs> Every time he sees me with a microphone, scarpers because he's from the same place as me, Barry. You know? Oh, oh I see. Yeah, yeah, it's, a, it's a smirky grin. It's, 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 <laughs> I know, Rory, Rory, Rory Hudson, exactly, now Chief uh, Floor Sweeper at Dan Holland oh, Rory, you started off the season racing, what, what happened? Um, it's a good question, I guess uh, university took over and my dad was like, yeah, you need to focus on that instead of the racing, so here I am now. Earning a crust? Yeah, I'm now... I, you know, I can't even explain how I got here. I've been, I'm, I'm third year uni student brushing for Dan Holland Racing. So, I mean, I, I, I think, I think that's an upgrade. Yeah, what, so, what university? So, is that karting over, or just until you graduate? Um, well, I'm still related to motorsport, so everything I do, my degree is sport, and my placement, which I'm doing this year, is still related to motorsport. I'm working with Gary Cat with Infinity, and doing help with. Um, Dan Holland, so I don't know what the future holds, but it's just one year at a time at the moment. So yeah, but I'm enjoying it. So that's the most important thing. Yeah, good. It's, you know, it's all, always good to see Anthony that when a driver, you know, even if they're not racing, stays yep. in and around the paddock because you know Rory has been racing since what 2011, 2012. More than that, 2010, 2009. That was probably about when I started. So yeah. Yeah, so, so that you know, you can pass on, you know, 10, 12, 13, 14 years worth of experience about you know different types of racing, different situations to these younger drivers, and you can sweep a mean floor as well. I say it's a shame that no one's passed on that 13 years experience on how to sweep a floor because you've missed the big bit there, Rory. Uh, <laughs> you guys the now come on, Rory. excuse, excuses, Rory. There we go. Ex British, ex British Grand Prix winner, you know, in yeah. uh, in Cadet Honda. Now he's going to. Excellent. Oh yeah. Good well, lad. So yeah. <laughs> keep, that's right. Keep sweeping. You're, you're paying him too much. You're paying him way too much. Now we need to find out. We need while we're here. We need to find out whose idea it was to put this massive tent here uh, when we're at Wilton. Yes. And their base uh, over there. Why didn't they put it over there? Well, yeah. That's a very well because you, you've got to be quite right close fun. to the W grid. And I, I suppose yeah, let's, let's have a look. Who have we got up who, here? Who can you spy? Around. It looks like they might know what's going on here we go. let's go and speak to sam marsh or sam haig as he's now known samuel looking after younger brother scott this weekend partially yeah partially a little bit of overseeing yeah a little bit again like rory hudson sam marsh you know sam haig now half yeah whatever whatever you want mate yeah 
ex joint former Kart Stars champion, raced for Team UK in the Grand Finals, I believe. Like Rory, you're able to pass on a lot of information to a lot of the drivers, but there's one question that we need to answer. Dan Holland Racing are based across the road. Why come 100 yards and put it the biggest awning I've ever seen when your factory is just over there? I don't think we'd fit everyone in. I think that's the reason. Um, it, it's, uh, it looks rather large from the outside, but you can't actually get loads of carts in there. Well, oh, the factory. It's, it's rather large from the inside. I mean, Usain Bolt tried running it and ran out of breath halfway through. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. OK, but um, looking good this weekend? Yeah, I think so. Um, seniors, really good. Seniors have been P1 um, most sessions. Um, juniors have been pretty good. Um, Scott, little brother, he's been really good. Uh, P1, P2, P3 all the time. So, got some fans over there. Matt Higgins, there we go. Yeah. Um, shout out. Yeah. Um, no, it's, it's been good, yeah. Um, hopefully, keep up the pace. Um, yeah, I think we could be in for a good weekend. Brilliant, thank you very much. So, how have the Dan Holland guys been doing the last session? We've got, I think, Reese Hunter was fastest. Uh, yes, he was. In seniors. Hold on, I, you, you put me on the spot here. I wasn't looking well, at the Well, you were up to no good, you know. I uh, if, was, if, you don't, if I don't talk to you, you might get into mischief, like knock something over or do something silly. Well, I like to do that. So, yeah, Reese Hunter, fastest in uh, practice six, 43-62. Oh, so, okay. So, Matty Hingley, second, then Lewis Gilbert, third, Will Ellsworth, James Lowther, Tom Adams. He's moved teams this weekend. So, Kai Hunter, only ninth. Teddy Clinton, number six, uh, 11th. So, still a little bit of work to do. Yeah, we, we know um, what the problem was with uh, with Teddy and Kai. Um, we're definitely going to fix that for tomorrow. Um, yeah, Reese was quickest um, today um, in the last one, and he, ha he has been quickest in nearly every session. So, yeah, we're all pretty confident. Anyone who didn't finish today well, we know what the issue was. So, um, yeah, quietly confident, but it's carting, mate. Any anything can go wrong, can't it? So. It, it, it can, in fact. Well, thanks very much, Sam. Yes, Mr. D cake. Mr. Jordan. Cake. What, uh, why is there cake? Why? Oh, cake. Cake. Why is there cake? I have no idea. It's not Who's mine. Whose so birthday is it? I don't know. It's no one's birthday. I think they're just uh, treating themselves after oh, a hard day's ground. Fair enough, yeah. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Right, well, we'll, oh, well, there you go. No specific reason to have cake. No specific reason. Yeah, obviously lots of just work going on, you know. Some drivers have had a good day, some drivers not so good. Mm -hmm. You know, these carts, they're getting stripped <laughs> down and rebuilt running time away. and time uh, again. Someone's running away. <laughs> Hang on a sec. Right, where's someone's running away? <laughs> He's <laughs> being caught. <laughs> that's Richard Marsh. That's uh, Scott Marsh's dad. Oh, right. He doesn't want to be on camera. No, uh, no, obviously. Well, if I look like him, I wouldn't want to be either. Well, there you go. There you go. Strawberry Racing. Ethan Jeff Hall, our driver of the day from uh, Mansell Raceway. We yes. spoke to him earlier on. Now, uh, he's had a pretty good day so far. Okay. I, I, would, I would say in so uh, Minimax. There are two drivers in Rotax that are undefeated so far in 2021. Both of them uh, race for Strawberry. Uh, Dan Tate in 177 and Ethan Jeff Hall in Minimax. Uh, fastest in his practice six, 46, eight, two, uh, two tenths faster oh, than anyone else. Yeah, uh, over a tenth bigger than uh, Scott Marsh. That's yeah, a yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, fourth fastest in his uh, uh, fifth practice. Or it's but the if you look at the practice. times from the, the fifth but session, yeah. they were all slower. So all at the end of the day, when everyone wanted like put in a really quick lap, like a, almost a qualifying yeah. uh, type lap. He was quickest by over a second. Plus, I think around that time it was actually raining here at the circuit. It oh, wasn't okay. raining enough to warrant wet, but right. it was still slick. It was, yes. You know, you had the, the drops of rain on the vines. Yeah, which enough to just distract you. Yes, yeah. Enough to enough distract to you. Just think, mm, maybe I should think about where I'm breaking to Christmas. <laughs> well, you know, Strawberry, so successful this year. I think they've mm. won five or six finals in, in total. Mm -hmm. Of course, they compete in not just Rotax, but IAMI as well. And AC again. Love this. We've gone sevens. from one of the biggest awnings to right next door. Brilliant. We've got... Just, yeah, proper, proper old school car. You know, old this school car. There's some of the 177s here. Looks like they're causing trouble. Sam Winter's cart. Now we've got uh, <laughs> Oakley Priors machine there we haven't got any uh, this is the number 72 in juniors yes Harrison Crook well is so that a real, pri that a senior? real privateer effort what blue blue plates no it's a senior sorry I do apologize <laughs> I don't know but yeah so you go from one extreme to the other you know this is this is uh, you know there's a van there's another van a couple of easy up awnings load of carts tape work tables yeah no driver, poor old drivers disappeared to leave uh, to leave yeah. mechanic, stroke dad, stroke sponsor, stroke cab, you know, taxi, you know, to, to do all the hard work. Exactly so, so yeah. So how how have you found the, this the British Championship this year running as a privateer? 
Uh, but this is only our second go this year at this. Um, we did Dunkswell first and uh, we're giving it another go for Wilton this time. So, it's okay. A learning experience, enjoying it? Yeah, very much so, yeah. This is, I mean, he's, I think he's the only novice on the grid, so which is quite quite good fun for him. And, and, and you mean a rookie? A, a yeah, rookie yeah. of the grid? Oh, they guaranteed a trophy, yeah. top rookie, well, there we are. Be, yeah, that would be good, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would make the weekend nice. Yeah, well, I'll leave you to carry on to obviously make the, your various set of adjustments. I Mr. Found, Jordan? I found a Sam Winter. Oh, go on, OK. Do you, do you want to come talk to Sam Winter? Well, I, 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 I tell you what. The, you've got the microphone. You, no, you it. talk to Sam Winter because I'm allergic to him. Well, well fair, fair enough. Now I've got to I'll tell you what, Sam, why don't you just take that because I've got a microphone right there. Oh, OK, cool. Yeah, so hold it, hold it near your face. Yeah. Yes, you hello. Be used to that. Excellent. Sam, how's your day been? It's been great. I've been last all day. Okay. But um, <laughs> bad, bad example. Cut, cut, cut. No, go. <laughs> no, no go. but um, <laughs> personal best by four tenths. So, okay. Uh, I'm still learning the track. It's my second time here, so um, I'll get faster as the weekend goes on. I had the oldest tyres out of everyone today. These are from the first round of the Brits. Everyone else put new tyres on halfway through the day. So yeah, I'm pretty happy actually. Um, yeah, learn more tomorrow and learn more on Sunday. Now, second time here, obviously this is it's a technical circuit. Yeah. In terms of the curbs out there, how are you finding them? Because I personally think they're fine, but Henry's got some sort of vendetta against the curbs I here. think they're fine if you hit them right. Yeah. Um, if you sort of get on them halfway, they can jolt you around a bit, but if you take them at the right times, they're quite smooth and you sort of take off on a couple of them, so it's not too bad. Yeah, they're all not too bad. The last, probably the worst one's coming out onto the pit straight here. Just yeah, pit bend. Teeth out. Yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> bend. yeah, you don't want to hit that one badly. Yeah. No, you could get no. a nose cone penalty if you hit that one wrong. So yeah, <laughs> without yeah. even touching anyone else. But yeah, uh, well, great to see you here. And like you say, it's uh, going to be a great weekend. And hopefully, yeah. uh, we'll wish you all the best for it. Thank you very much. Uh, Excellent stuff. So we there, but uh, yeah, again, looking at their cart here, uh, red speed racing cart as well. Absolutely fantastic. I'll give you your microphone back, Henry. Uh, yeah, no, fantastic stuff. You're covering to, up the wrong be, stickers with that. To be fair to Sam, he, he does his very best <laughs> to look like a racing driver, you know, and, and, it, and it almost works until you see him on a track. Yeah. Oh, sorry, Sam. Oh, there you are, Sam. Sorry. I didn't, didn't, uh, I'm, I'm all good. But, I mean, yeah, this is, again, the 177 is the, it's the, it's the smallest class, but it does, I think, I think the drivers have the most fun. Yes. Out of all, uh, you know, of all the classes, you know, there's some really, really good drivers here. And yes. You can go hide in your truck again now, and, Sam. And you get drivers like Sam who can take a joke. Honest. Love you. Love you. <laughs> Excellent. Here's XL here as well. Great uh, running from there. Aaron Full within the team as well. Yep. You know, he's had a great season so far. He's had a good showing in many uh, races, categories, circuits, everything like that. Um, yet to see a win, I think, from him. Yeah, not, not a victory just yet. I mean, or even a podium. But again, he's, he's, he's there and thereabouts. The, he's got the waft, he's got the craft. Yes. He just needs to get past. Now he just, it's that last little bit of, you know, of race craft, of determination, of, you know, having making that one really gutsy move that's mm. like, like, death or glory almost yeah yes exactly that well there are many many teams here uh, around the track but oh there we go that was, that was you there was you go. Obviously, obviously some of the, your fan club was, is in was, there was, was that for Henry or the, the, the class the class of motorsport team <laughs> talk, talk. The, the last time we were at class of motorsport was at PFI something very unfortunate unfortunate happened, happened yes. outside of the we didn't mention it to anyone but it happened behind the cameraman and it was well <laughs> Well, 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 well Classen, they took their first TKM Extreme win in two years the last time we saw the TKMs at Kim Bolton with uh, Joe Fowler. Yeah. They're in with a real chance of the TKM Extreme title. Yes. You know, the, 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 the junior TKMs, well, Alistair Cresswell, two wins out of two. It's been the same podium in junior TKM for the both finals. Uh, Cresswell, Alfie Garford and James Morley. Very, very close, however. Yeah. All the way through. Um, yeah, it, it, it's going to be a really good weekend, isn't it? I think it's going to be a fantastic weekend. I'm very much looking forward to it. Like I say, we were last here at Wilton Mill last year, near Christmas. It was the final round of the championship last year. Uh, we saw great racing then. Hopefully a dry track. I think it's crossed a dry track I this time around because I, I, I want to see some dry racing. I think it's going to be dry. It's going to be very, very good. I think two days of live streaming. So unfortunately, viewers, two days of Self and Anthony. We'll do this again tomorrow evening oh, after yeah, the racing. Yeah, yeah, when we've got yeah, some yeah. racing to review. Um, and yeah, it's, it's going to be a really good weekend. Very busy, 44 races. Uh, it's, it's, yeah, going to be a very busy weekend, but I'm thoroughly looking forward to it. Yes, don't yeah. go away. We should be back in the morning for day one of the Vera Tools British Car Championship at Wilton Mill. <laughs>